Hey guys, this is Becky, I'm Chris, and we have a YouTube channel called Becky, Becky and, and Chris. Chris. <laughs> Why am I laughing? We're so awkward. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use the effect controls panel. Roll the intro. Typically, the effect controls tab can be found to the left of your program window. But if you can't find it, you can come up here to window, effect controls, and then click on it and add it to your workspace. By default, the effect controls tab gives you the ability to adjust the position, scale, rotation, and opacity of your clips without having to add any additional effects to the control tab. This alone can be a very powerful tool in making your edit super fun and creative. So let's run through these starting with position. This option allows you to change the position of your clip in the window. You can click and drag these numbers around to adjust your clip, or you can type in a specific dimension you want your clip to be. You can also use your up and down arrows on your keyboard for finer adjustments, as well as shift up and down on your keyboard to move in increments of 10. If you don't like the edit you made and you wanna reset the adjustment, hit the reload arrow and it will set your motion effects back to zero. Scaling allows you to increase or decrease the size of your clip in the window. This tab is especially useful when importing clips that do not match the clip size of your timeline. So for example, when you're importing a 1080p clip into a 4K timeline, you need to scale it up, you can do that here. You can animate any of these effects by turning on keyframes and adjusting the size or scale according to your idea. For example, we love to quickly zoom into things in our videos to highlight a silly moment or a facial expression or something just kind of funny that's happening. So all we do to do that is we turn on keyframes, place one keyframe where we want our effect to start and another where we want the effect to end, and then we scale it up as needed. So I can adjust the position of the frame in the window here by just dragging these numbers as mentioned earlier in this video. Keyframes are a very strong tool, but are a bit more advanced and outside the scope of this video. Okay, moving down to rotation. I like to use this parameter to adjust clips that are not straight or to correct crooked horizons on drone clips. You can also use this to flip clips 90 or 180 degrees if needed. Say if you have a clip that comes off your phone and it's the wrong way, you can flip it here. You can change the opacity and blending modes of your clips by clicking and dragging down or up on the percentage. This makes the clip more or less transparent. Changing the blending mode will allow you to blend two images together to get different effects. So for example, if I I put another clip on top of this clip here, you can see how the look of the effect changes depending on what blending mode I select. If you wanna see the change your effect made to the image, you can turn on and off the preview by hitting the FX icon. The effects are live when the square shows the FX icon and they are off when the FX icon has a strike through, which means it's not affecting the image at all. Anytime you wanna add an effect to your clip like warp stabilizer, lumetric color, or anything from the effects panel, you're gonna find them here and be able to edit them here as well. Changing the speed of your clip can speed up your edit or show time passing. So if you want to change the speed of your clip, you can come down here to your timeline and right click on your clip and scroll down to speed duration. You can change how fast or slow your clip plays back by changing the percentage. At 100%, your clip is at normal speed or the speed in which you filmed it. Increasing the percentage speeds up the clip, which is really great for our time lapses, and decreasing the percentage slows down your clip which might be a really fun way to show action. And say you wanted to play a clip backwards, all you need to do is check off reverse and it will play the clip backwards. So the next video, we're gonna show you how to do basic color grading with the Lumetri color panel. Lumetri. This is over. <laughs>